Hi everyone, if you're watching this video, you probably found out that you've got MTHFR gene mutation, maybe one, maybe two copies. I'm not going to go into details what MTHFR is, because you probably would have done enough research to know what it is. It's, uh, but in a nutshell, it's uh, a very important pathway of methylation, one of the most important processes in the body, uh, which regulates the detoxification um, it's um, something that will help you recover from ingesting toxins or inhaling toxins or even uh, having a heavy night of drinking uh, you may be more susceptible to have uh, a very uh, you know serious hangover the next day uh, this is what i noticed anyway so i had mine tested empty hfr unfortunately i got both copies uh, so, and you think, okay, so, but, but am I affected by it? Uh, the number one um, sign that you are under methylating because of this MTHFR is that your homocysteine is high. Now, you've got to test the homocysteine properly. Um, they know it in the lab. They have to draw your blood and they have to uh, keep it cool and send it to the lab within a certain amount of time there's a protocol so it has to be done pro properly which i think most um, doctors medical centers and then the pathology centers and do properly because if you if they if they don't do uh, a proper protocol for uh, testing the homocysteine levels it will show up as high because uh, the longer you leave it um, un, um they have to spin it in uh, you know in this device to I think to split the um, whatever it is uh, I'm not sure the ins and outs I, I read about it a while ago and you probably would have read about it but they do it properly that nowadays so you don't have to worry about it uh, if they didn't it could show up high but if you've got empty HFR and then it shows up high uh, which mine did mine showed up something like 18 and the upper limit something like 14 uh, I wasn't happy about that. I thought, well, I've got the, both copies and I'm under methylating. Uh, so I want to get that homocysteine low. Uh, you know, there's a whole body of science that you don't really have to worry about the cholesterol. Long story, you want to be looking at the ratios of uh, triglycerides, the LDL, HDL. If those ratios are fine and your cholesterol is 7 uh, or, or even 8, but definitely 6, which is above... The level you there's probably nothing you have to worry about but then you would have researched that so homocysteine is very important uh, a lot of doctors don't even know about it i was lucky enough to have a doctor who uh, tested me for mthfr and then did the test on uh, homocysteine which was elevated so this video uh, is about uh, what lowers um, the homocysteine level again you would have done the research and they would have talked about uh, certain vitamins and definitely B vitamins, right? And they need to be the exact compounds. They 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 have to be metal cobalamin, uh, and etc. etc. They they have to, you know, you you can't have the folic acid. It needs to be folate, the active ingredient. So, uh, I just wanted to uh, do a quick video to show you which one works, because my homocysteine level went from 17 or 18 uh, down to 13. Now, that's just under 14, uh, but I, I'm going to try and get it even lower. But I've only started using this uh, B. You could call it complex, but I'll, I'll show you what it is. I'm actually going to include the link uh, below. It'll take you straight to it. Uh, it has the high doses of the desirable compounds of B. Uh, so you won't have to get two or three or five different um, bottles of it uh, it all comes in one bottle you'll, you'll see it's uh, it's one of these uh, thorn uh, metal guard ones but they've got a few so I've done the research I've looked at uh, what they contain what each what each one contains and unfortunately this one's the the most expensive one but it has it has what you want um, so I'll include the link it worked for me uh, I've only used it for a couple of months I a feel better B my homocysteine is down in the normal range I'm going to get it down even even lower uh, with continued use of this um, and again 
you would have found a lot of um, resources out there and no doubt that's how I come across this but worrying about you know got to do this got to do that stop eating this and that fair enough go and do go ahead and do that but this is you could you could call it a silver bullet it is something that is going to get your homocysteine down get you back on track and give you the the correct um, vitamin B uh, you know B1 B2 B3 B5 B6 uh, so this one's got something like uh, riboflavin and then it's got the uh, vitamin B6 which is peroxo 5 phosphate so it has to be P5P and then you got the folate which is the L5 methyl hydrate folate uh, from methyl you know it sorry I'm butchering this but you know and then which is the B12 and then you got um, and they're all huge doses uh, the percentages that need that are required you probably won't be able to see that there's no chance oh maybe you will oh yeah you'll see that the percentages here you know they're, they're 5,000 and 2,000 percent of the recommended daily intake and you think oh that's too much no it's not that's exactly what you need if you are uh, have been diagnosed with uh, one or even definitely two copies of MTHFR gene mutation so um, let us know how you go and uh, let us know if you found anything else uh, in the comments below uh, it'll be helpful not just to me but to people who have watched this video uh, and yeah you'll find the link of this um, supplement down below in the notes until then i'll talk to you in the next one take care